All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a few days since I played, but my understanding is one that my volume's on, so let me fix that. There we go, that should get rid of the echo. And two is that I've rescued both survivors, or both sets of survivors, I should say. So, oh, everybody's on their 300, or at least my main party. That's exciting. Okay, good. So we've been to the park because I went looking for the door and I have I found the door, like the segment address. And I think we've been to the bridge because I'm pretty sure I picked up an update file there. And we've rescued the survivors. So now we, all we have left is the isolation area. Well, for sure there'd be a bad guy out here. Fourth of the four variants. Hello, number 666. It's been a long time. Huh? Junior? S Citrine! I'm so happy to see you. You're the only comrade I have left. Comrade? She's a URTV as well. Yes, female type number 668, Citrine. She's a variant URTV, like us. If you're on guard here, then Dad must be inside. And if he is, I won't let you interfere with Father. Are you an idiot? Don't you understand what's going on? If we don't stop him, this entire universe will be in danger. You're the one who doesn't understand, Rubido. Have you forgotten our duty? Our mission is to destroy Udu. It doesn't matter what happens to the universe as long as we accomplish that. So Dad plans to use the power of the emulators and the original to destroy Udu? A failure who's forgotten his role as a weapon and abandoned his duty has no right to speak to me. Citrine, stop! I don't want to lose any more of my comrades! Comrades? You abandoned us. You're no comrade to us. Citrine! I forgot to mention, but I have one more duty. I have the power to destroy the Red Dragon, just like Negredo. Do you think you can defeat me? Obviously that was to get a bit of break damage, more so than actual damage, but... Hmm. That is going to be a problem. Well, I'll start with this. I don't think I have e any EP attacking abilities. I don't think that's a thing in Xenosaga. 
But I'm just looking at the fact that she used 18 for that one skill. I wouldn't mind getting that a bit lower. But, oh well. Uh, I will steal Crescent Moon from her eventually. We just have to get there. Well. Oh, you want me to step on you too? She doesn't counter everything, which is kind of nice to see, but... Pretty sure Chaos can finish that off, so... Pretty sure this doesn't cause break damage, so it should be good. Oh nice, that's pretty strong too. I don't really know how useful this will be in the short term, but... I 
and this is why I went for this one. Small opportunity to get a little extra bit of damage in there, so... So the looks of things she doesn't have a revenge attack, so she actually has to dodge my attack and it has to be close range. So I was actually hoping that she was wearing her vector outfit, not her uh, skimpy suit here, but... Anywho, the reason I brought Shion in is I'm pretty sure her break uh, gauge is significantly higher. Nice. twice on his nest. Thank you. 
There's something symbolic about his double attack hitting for 666. Which reminds me, we haven't seen any of those attacks yet. She's got an attack that drops her HP down to 666, and then she's got Red Dragon Killer, which, as the name implies, does about that much damage to everybody. Now, I don't think she's allowed to boost in between, because that would obviously be a like an automatic game over. I suppose unless you had safety level on. I'm sorry. I know it's not uh, great damage, but oh shit. Trying to avoid her dodging it. Obviously she can dodge it, but at least I avoided the counter there. I don't think Quick really does a whole lot in this game, but... She wasn't as devastating as I thought it was going to be. Ether drive. This is gonna seem like a weird choice, but okay, so she's still got a couple thousand left, so.
Okay, I think we're good to put her away now. I'll throw one more analyze ball just to be sure. 585, yep. Eliminated. And I got the pressing moon. Oh, I could have finished her off a while ago. No, father. Nice, Cosmos has acquired the Hilbert effect. That's actually a pretty good, uh... And Junior got Misty. That's kind of weird, but okay. So the weapons development area key lets us go fight Omega ID, but we're not strong enough yet. Why were we born? For what reason do we exist? Answer me, Rubido. You betrayed your comrades. You killed your brother. Why are you still alive? To keep my promise. Your promise? Yes. The reason I exist is to keep the promise I made. You're still haunted by that woman's shadow. I pity you. Citrine! What could that alarm be? That bastard! He activated the emulators! <laughs> so, they disposed of Citrine. What is it? Oh, I see. You're sad. You had a connection to that unit. But that's nothing more than an illusion. You are weapons. You see, you're nothing more than one of my parts. You don't need any meaningless emotions. Anything more is completely unnecessary. Behold this glorious picture. My revenge will begin. My time of victory against his terror has finally come. <laughs> you filthy bastard! Stop the emulators now! Is that you, Rubido? It's been a long time, hasn't it? I must say I've missed you. Listen! We both know what'll happen if you even think about touching those! Give back Guinan's body, and get the hell out of here! Oh, I am so disappointed in you, Rubido. This circumstance is your fault entirely. There's no one else to blame but yourself, and I'm afraid I've been forced to take matters into my own hands. Since those incomplete units failed their mission 15 years ago... My fault? Oh, yeah? You planning on using the emulators and Omega to destroy Udu? No, no, it isn't that sort of thing. Nothing can ever destroy Udu. I guess you really don't understand the reasons why I am here. All right, then, fine. Why are you here? In ancient times, people used to be together with God. People loved God, revered, and even feared God. Out of fear of the undying god, they sought divine power. This was a way for the ancients to resist him. Eventually, they found a method to become gods themselves. We have revived their relics, the Merkaba and the Zohar emulators, as well as Mizrahi's Y data, which holds the records left behind by the ancients. This holds the instructions so that we may become gods once again. You see, Udu is a god of this dimension. If in fact God cannot be destroyed, then we shall be the ones to become gods ourselves. Farewell, my son. I must go now. Remember your great father. Damn it! Momo, can we stop the emulators? No, we can't. The controls are destroyed. There's no way to stop them. The ship is moving. The Durandal's beginning to turn. That means 
It's heading for the Ark. Damn it. Dad's gonna ram the ship and the emulators right into the Ark. Now what? We'll purge the dock and escape. It's gonna be rough, but we don't have any choice. Let's go! It's no good, little master. The remote control isn't working. We can't perform it from here. Then we'll just have to do it by hand. That's insane. A regular person would be caught up in the explosion caused by the purge. Hey, there's someone outside. It's chaos and cosmos. What is she doing? Cosmos, now! Tony, come on! Break through now! Yeah, yeah, I got it! Let us begin. Restore what was once rightfully mine. Detecting an enormous gravity deviation from inside. It is not a gnosis. It is likely caused by surplus energy leaking from Omega after absorbing the Zohar. It's an astounding amount of energy. With energy of this colossal magnitude, I guess his talk of joining the rank of gods may not have been a bluff. Does he really intend on becoming a god? Omega's awakening is confirmed. So it would seem. For the shift to the higher dimension, Yuriev will likely attempt to absorb Zarathustra. This may cause some effect on the system. That is not the only function of Zarathustra. The measures I've taken are not recorded in the Y data. The information he obtained is incomplete. Let us watch over the proceedings. He's a truly fascinating human being. In order to conquer his fear, he chooses to absorb that fear and become that fear himself. Shall we send Albedo for the retrieval? He wants to go, doesn't he? It's what he's always desired. It will also work out well for the awakening of the vessels of Anima. It will take a little more time before she awakens. In the meantime, let's enjoy the entertainment. Morgulus, what is it? 
Your Eminence, our fleet has already sunk 70% of the Federation fleet. All that remains is to await your order. Give us the order to attack the Ark. Bargulus, I don't even recall giving you an order to move the fleet. Why should we stand by and watch while the original Zohar is right before our eyes? Dmitry Yuryev has already taken action. We can't just hand it over without any protest. Know your place, Margulis. Just follow my orders. But... That is all, Margulis. You are not permitted to touch the Ark. Pull back the fleet and leave Nictum. Your Eminence. What does this mean? Is he saying to give up on the Zohar? I don't know. But don't you feel as if something has been out of place? Ever since Ren Le Chateau appeared? It's as if we are no longer acting for our own objectives, but for some other will. Are you insinuating that his eminence is betraying Ormus? Such insolence will not be forgiven. Even for you, Chief Inquisitor. I am aware of that, but still... I know we have to do something. But just how are we supposed to get close to that thing? We don't even know the enemy's location. What part do you want me to stick this ship in? How about you stop talking and use your heads a little? Indeed. We've got all these people here, and yet none of them are useful. Yaktus, why are you... Who's that? She's an extremely skilled Scientia agent. Oh, is that you, Jin? You have the same enigmatic expression on your face you always do. And I see you haven't changed either. It's rather unusual for you to show your face here. I contacted her. What? Why would you contact someone like her? My, are you sure you want to be that rude to me? You'll regret it later. She has a plan that can solve our current dilemma. That's why I called her. What plan? A way to get inside that thing. Huh? It's simple. You just need to gate out inside of it. That way you can infiltrate it and no one can stop you. A short jump within the same signal? Can that be done at this short a range? If it's us, yes. Even if we do that, we don't know where Dad is. You should be able to tell where Guinan is. Right, you are TB. <gasps> I gave my gift to that Realian. The rest is up to you. Don't disappoint me now. Momo, analyze this. This is the gate-out interference program that Skientia uses. With this, we can ignore the signal and dive out by force. Well, isn't she clever? So we use this to get dead, huh? Okay, Hammer, replace the gate jump program. We don't have much time. Get it ready now! Okay, so good news. We've got a couple minutes left over to go back and pick up a couple things. The CAT testing ground and the floating land mass. We'll do the CAT first. I'm pretty sure there's not too far. I think this was the first one, so... Um... 
when we start next video, I'm going to start in the Merkaba. I'll do all the stuff that we got to do to unlock that center area. And then I'll just start there so you guys can see what the actual prize is. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. That's okay. This shouldn't be a long battle. Clear a path. This is actually the proper way that door is down there, of course. It's been a while since I did this level, sorry guys. Here we go. Just kill off this guy, and we should be golden. Don't hesitate. Ooh, that is actually pretty nice. And some more break limit. I'm always down for that. What the hell does she have equipped that she's got? Oh, I give her both of those. Okay, so she doesn't even need the swimsuit. Or she doesn't even need the vector outfit. His is pretty up there too. Yeah, I can just leave the U of M. U of M. gonna waste any anima gauges on them given I can't actually get any more skill points from them anyways and we're gonna need all the anima we can get I'm actually just gonna escape actually yeah the next area is gonna be pretty rough oh I didn't even see that guy Did see that one though.
Anywho, uh, part of the reason why I'm not just gonna keep going right now is I want to do the, all those Hackox, um, like side quests or whatever. Yeah. Okay, I'm a little upset with that, but that's okay. Because I'm pretty sure you can unlock level 5 right now. Which means you can actually unlock Junior's best weapon. Because I remember thinking it's usually just before everybody else's. Because at chapter 9 you can pretty much... And technically Ziggy's is unlocked in chapter 9 as well, but for... Like you can't actually start collecting his items till almost the end of chapter 9. But with regards to everyone else... Chapter 9 is kind of the, uh... Anyways, that's actually the one who gives you Ziggy's best weapon. But Chapter 9 is kind of the starting point of all the extra side quests and whatnot, so... We'll be doing the Omega ID fight and the, um... I'm blanking on it. Erde Kaiser Sigma. We'll be doing those in, in chapter 9 as well. Uh, this guy will give us a stone after we do Abel's Ark. And then we can go through that. That's Chaos's top weapon. I don't know what the hell this guy's here for. The final stage extreme. Oh, I guess I could have done his other one even earlier than this. Okay, yeah, I know. His is extreme, so there's one more master. You may not ever be able to play this world. Hmm, good to know. Only play games for one hour a day. Do some aerobics and rest your head. Yeah, so I'm going to go through and actually do all of that. I just wanted to make sure that we could even do that or else I was going to be wasting my time ending the video early. Well... Maybe if I give her I can probably make it in the Merkaba. See, now I'm kind of feeling bad for wasting time going over there. Even though they're pretty good experience, I am definitely not going to fight any of these guys, so... Pretty sure I have to go and do this part first. There should be a switch where we talk to sellers, and then I have to go back to the ESs. So 
The good news is the doors are open and everything's good to go. Bad news is I still got some baddies to dodge, so. Although as long as he makes it to the other side, it should be good. Yep. Too easy. Right there. I got a couple minutes. So that's what I like about this game is you can actually have battles done in a reasonable amount of time. So the awkward thing is I actually don't remember how to get to the doors in the ES. I know we walked right up to it at one point, but for the life of me, I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. Oh my goodness, this is all the way around. I don't know what's in those two boxes down there, but a demo better be good. And it's the usual, right? The reason why I kind of stopped midway and don't just collect everything near the end of the game is some of this stuff is going to be very useful now later on not so much obviously Shion's weapon if I was using Shion and as you've seen I do switch her in every now and again you know it's nice to have that extra weaponry now but once chapter 9 starts and her uh, we get her ultimate weapon that's going to be null and void I'll be collecting ultimate weapons for everybody but Jin because Jin literally takes forever. I did it once when I was writing my guide and never again. I'll show you guys what you have to do because we'll end up again. You have to collect enemies or you have to collect um, items from pretty rare enemies in the very last part of the game. Seraphic Cane? Seraphic Canes? Something along those lines. Anywho. Um, you can't steal them. If I remember correctly, you have to actually win them. And they're a pain in the ass because you have to collect 99. So to give you an idea, I know I shouldn't be stopping right now, but I don't even have 99 small med packs right now. Okay, yeah, if I can avoid the two battles, I think there was one right in here. Yeah. And hopefully this guy stayed dead, and looks like he did. Oh, that was close. Where is this other guy? So you guys are going to have to bear with me here. I know I've only got like six minutes left, but...
Yeah, crap. I know what I gotta do now. Uh, which way do I have to go? I think I start this way. I gotta go down to the next floor. Well, that went well. Of course, he's targeting the wrong damn thing. I guess I actually could have fought that battle. I thought I had to go th up the other side already, but I guess that was for the prize. Alright, looks like we are going to make it. Well, this is exciting, then I'll be caught up. I just have to play through that, uh, all that hack ox. I'm going to go through, I think Ziggy's swimsuit's one of them as well. I'm going to go through the levels in order, or at least as much as I can bear. Just because, just to get a hang of the game. Ignis 1. And update file 11, okay. That ship appears to be one file. Apparently Crescent Moon is not a weapon, so... 410... You know what? She's gonna get it. Actually, no, she's not. She doesn't need it. She's got 300, 600. I might change that up later, but for now, just so I can figure my stuff out. Okay, good. Then she can get four of those in. And it keeps her at long distance, which means she won't be needing to block revenges or counters. Okay, that works. So the only couple other things I can think of is finding out what Crescent Moon was. Here we go. Oh, increase and acquired SP. That's not a bad skill. Well, I will tinker with that stuff at a later date. There's four bosses, four ES bosses in Abel's Ark. Each one of them gives us a new frame for each of the four ESs. And they put you in like the 55 to 60,000 HP range, which is 
pretty much why we're going to hold off fighting Omega ID is that's a solid 25 to 30,000 difference. Maybe even 40,000 depending on how high Dina gets. And obviously once we get to chapter 9 we can get the best set of weapons as well. And we'll have level 3 um, anima gauges. Which is another huge part of it. So that's going to get held off. We have to wait till we beat Omega ID to challenge um, Erde Kaiser Sigma because we need um, Dark Erde Kaiser, which you need Segment Address 6 and Decoder 6. And guess who has Decoder 6? Omega ID. So that is how that's going to play out. So when I get back, I'll have completed Hackox. I'm actually going to go and do it this time. I know I said I was going to do last time, but since I can get Junior's weapon, I kind of feel more obliged to do it. And yeah, we'll start the Abel's Arc, Abel's Arc section, sorry. It's a pretty good section of the game. The, it's pretty difficult. I mentioned earlier in the series that there's a series, there was a point where the ES battles actually get difficult. And this is that point. So, and you guys will see all of that. Um, yeah, so I will bid you adieu for now. And when we return for part 23, we'll be all caught up with all our little side quest stuff and we will challenge Abel's Ark. That should be two, if not potentially even three videos. Like it's a huge area of the game. Like I said, there's four ES boss fights. There's, there's, there's a main area and then there's um, four, four spheres that are going around the core. And we have to do the spheres first and then go to the core. And there's two bosses in the core after that, so like I said, it's going to be a long segment, so I'm looking forward to it, though. It's one of my favorite parts of the games. So I'll see you guys there.